think about what goes into making a hot, nutritious meal, a lot of things come to mind. How fresh are the vegetables? Is the kitchen clean? And has the cook washed his or her hands? These are all important questions, definitely. But they overlook one basic question. What about the fuel used to cook the meal? Most of us are hooked up to gas pipelines or use electric, so we don't think about it. But in India's heartland, it's not so easy. Villagers have a difficult choice to make. Propane tanks and kerosene are rationed and expensive. The fumes from cooking on raw cow dung or wood can cause serious eye and lung problems, especially for women and children. Not to mention the destruction of the forests caused by villagers forced to cut down trees for firewood. But, as the world is finding out, India's forests are some of the most fragile, yet most important, ecosystems in the world. There are hundreds of millions of villagers in India who rely exclusively on firewood for cooking fuel. Can you imagine the devastating impact that has on India's fragile forests? Fortunately, there's a new twist on an old technology that can provide rural India with a cleaner, cheaper, and environmentally friendly cooking fuel. Take a look at this biogas plant being built right next to me. As everyone knows, cows have a special place in India, and these plants make use of one of their byproducts, cow dung. Cows are prolific dung producers. Just one cow can produce 10 kilograms, or 22 pounds of dung per day. That's a lot of dung. But when this dung is left outside, it ends up releasing tons of methane, a greenhouse gas that's 21 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. When these gases enter our air, they contribute to global warming. And we all know what that means. Crazy weather, floods, droughts, chaos. But these plants cap that methane and turn it into a safe, clean, efficient fuel. And the way they work is surprisingly simple. The concept of biogas has been around for a long time, but this new model is cheaper, stronger, and it produces gas three times a day, just in time for meals. This is the start of a plant that will provide fuel for eight families, but you can make them smaller too. The process is the same. About this is that you can get these materials in any village you go to. Plus, out of these plants comes a great fertilizer that's easier, cleaner, and richer to use than raw cow dung. These plants only need to be cleaned once every 10 years, and they'll last you at least 50. Sounds like a pretty good idea, right? What we need now is more support from the government and the corporate sector, as well as financing from banks, and, of course, help from people like you. So let's look at the facts. Biogas saves money and saves India's environment. It's good for her people as well as her forest. It's a no-brainer. So let's help spread this technology and let the sacred cow do her thing.